A strange spiral appeared in the sky over Alaska. A spectacular effect was created by the SpaceX rocket. Last week, the launch of a SpaceX rocket created an unexpected and beautiful phenomenon in the skies above Alaska. Against the background of the greenish lights of the northern lights, a spiral cloud appeared, somewhat resembling a galaxy. It was created during the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere of the Falcon 9 rocket, which dumped fuel during maneuvering. Aurora Borealis watchers in Alaska got a surprise. Against the green lights of the Aurora, a bright blue galaxy-like spiral appeared for a few minutes. The cause of this peculiar phenomenon was the fuel dump of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket as it re-entered Earth's atmosphere. Similar phenomena are becoming an increasingly common sight for stargazers around the world. These spirals form when rocket fuel, which is ejected from the rapidly spinning upper stages of Falcon 9 rockets, freezes in space. Under the right conditions, this material reflects sunlight, making the spiral visible to bewildered observers. It happened on April 15 this year. At this latitude, the aurora borealis is not unusual, and probably does not arouse any sensation in Alaska. This time, however, the characteristic streaks were accompanied by something else. It was a blue spiral, visible in the sky for a few minutes over a large part of this American state. A few hours earlier, a SpaceX rocket launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, carrying 25 satellites into orbit. The launch took place about three hours before the unusual phenomenon was noticed in Alaska. Sometimes it happens that a rocket has to dump extra fuel. And that's exactly what happened in this case. However, in order for it to become the cause of such a visual spectacle, a number of conditions must be met. First of all, the fuel must be dropped at a high altitude. Because only then does it have a chance to turn into ice under the influence of low temperatures. When the frozen fuel is illuminated by the sun's rays, a properly positioned observer will see a fantastic spectacle. This isn't the first time a spiral has been spotted in the sky. A similar phenomenon was observed, for example, after another SpaceX rocket, this time starting from Florida, carried a military GPS satellite into orbit. In this case, such a spectacular-looking spiral was visible in Hawaii specifically on Hawaii, also called the Big Island. Traces of psychedelic substances in hair from 3,000 years ago years. The analysis of hair found in one of the caves located on the island of Menorca has provided direct evidence that people have been taking psychoactive substances since the Bronze Age. The chemicals found in the hair could alter perception and induce hallucinations. Scholars believe that they were most likely used during ritual ceremonies. It is known that various narcotic substances have been used since ancient times. Recently, direct evidence has been found that people used them as early as the Bronze Age. Probably in ritual ceremonies. Researchers from the Autonomous University of Barcelona analyzed human hair found on the Mediterranean island of Menorca. Studies have detected the presence of psychoactive alkaloids. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Scientific Reports. So far, scientists have only speculated about the possibility that people in such distant times reached for psychoactive substances. They had only circumstantial evidence in the form of, for example, the presence of opium alkaloids in the dishes they used. This time, however, science got its hands on direct evidence. In Menorca, Spain, there is the S. Carriage Cave, which has been inhabited since about 3,600 years ago. Significantly, there was a part in it intended for the burial place of its inhabitants, 
which was used in this way until about 2,800 years ago. And that's what led to the discovery of this evidence. First, however, a few remarks about the burial chamber itself. It was originally assumed that about 210 people were buried there. However, as it turned out, the hair of some of the inhabitants was dyed red, and then arranged in containers made of wood and horns, additionally decorated with concentric circles. These containers were then deposited in an even more remote part of the cave, presumably for even better protection, including the ceremonies associated with them. The age of this hair is estimated at 3,000 years. What could these circles mean? About that in a moment. It was this red hair that became the subject of research by scientists who used ultra-high-performance liquid chromatography and high-resolution mass spectroscopy. Analyzes showed the presence of alkaloids, atropine, scopolamine and ephedrine. The first two of these substances can be found in nightshade plants and can alter perception, induce hallucinations and delirium. In turn, ephedrine is present in some shrubs and is a stimulant. It can also increase arousal, alertness and physical activity. It turned out that traces of all three substances were found in the hair samples tested. Through which plants could they get into the organisms of their owners? Scientists suggest that it could have been mandrake, henbane, datura and ephedra fragilis. All of them may have been used in some way by the shaman during ritual ceremonies. As for the concentric circles mentioned above, it is believed that they may have symbolized the eyes or were a metaphor for the inner vision experienced by the intoxicated participants in the ceremony. Old age in childhood, or about progeria. Fortunately, this condition rarely develops. And it is difficult to imagine old age, which begins in the second year of life. However, People affected by progeria experience just that and die at an average age of 13. There is no therapy for this rare genetic disease yet, although new discoveries give hope. A single mutation in the genome is enough for the human body to start aging shortly after birth due to the destabilization of the cell nuclei. This is progeria more technically known as Hutchinson-Guilford progeria syndrome after the English physicians who identified the condition in the late 1800s. Egg cell. Fortunately, it is extremely rare. According to the Progeria Research Foundation, progeria affects 1 in 8 million newborns. For comparison, in the case of cystic fibrosis, about 1 in 5,000 newborns, and 1 in 18 to 20 million living people suffer from it. However, when it does happen, it leaves little chance for the sufferer with the current state of medicine. In the most optimistic variant, some live to be 20 years old, and the average life expectancy is only 13 to 14 years. Most often, sick people die of strokes or heart attacks. Because despite their biologically young age, their body is already old. Symptoms usually appear within the first year of birth. Despite normal intellectual and motor development, the child begins to grow much slower. Typical changes in appearance occur over time. The face narrows, the jaws shrink, the head and eyes become disproportionately large compared to the face. The shape of the eyelids changes. There is loss of hair, including eyebrows and eyelashes. The skin all over the body becomes thin and wrinkled with visible vessels. The voice becomes unnaturally high. The changes visible at first glance are, unfortunately, not all the effects of the genetic mutation. Serious changes also take place inside the body. Strong atherosclerosis begins to develop, the development of bones and teeth may also be disturbed, joints stiffen, hips may be dislocated, hearing is often damaged, 
due to the disturbance of sound conduction to the inner ear. The amount of fat under the skin and muscle mass decreases. There may be insulin resistance. The disease can usually be diagnosed during routine examinations. In addition to the typical, visible changes in the diagnosis, it helps, among others, hearing, vision, height and weight measurements of the child. However, because the disease is extremely rare, experts recommend bringing any concerns to the doctor's attention, which is good advice in any situation. A DNA test can also help. Unfortunately, there is no therapy that could cure someone of progeria or significantly change the patient's fate. Doctors can, however, help to relieve the symptoms of damage in the first place. Medications are often prescribed to reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes, including low-dose aspirin, anticoagulants, lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure, reduce headaches and seizures. Rehabilitation helps keep joints functional for longer. Nutrition and dental care are also important. Secondly, the first. Still under investigation drug directed strictly against progeria called Lonafarnib has recently become available. Two years ago, in the journal, Nature, researchers from Harvard University and many other well-known research centers described a method by which they significantly extended the life of mice with progeria. With the help of a new genetic engineering technique they developed, scientists fixed a mutation in rodents shortly after birth. Gene therapy in the form of a single injection repaired the damaged gene in a large number of cells in various parts of the bodies of small mice, including in the heart and in the aorta. Many of them still contained repaired versions of the gene six months later. The results surprised the scientists positively, because the cells they changed began to replace the diseased ones. The lifespan of the mice doubled from 7.5 months to 1.5 years. Meanwhile, these mice live for about two years. For me, as a doctor and scientist, it is extremely exciting to think that an idea that is being worked on in the laboratory can bring therapeutic benefits, says Professor Jonathan D. Brown, one of the authors of a potentially groundbreaking achievement. Ultimately, our goal is to develop therapies for humans. But there are still important questions we need to address. There are still many challenges ahead for the team of scientists from animal research to even clinical trials on humans. There is still a long way to go. Also quite recently, another team presented another promising development. Scientists from the Spanish National Center for Research on the Cardiovascular System, in an experiment on mice, have shown that it may be feasible to treat progeria even when the symptoms are already fully developed. They managed to block the production of a harmful, mutated protein in all tissues of mice of different ages. Treatment up to 85%. Extended the life of rodents with mild symptoms and less than 7%. With very advanced symptoms, true therapy will require the removal of a harmful mutation. We were trying to remove symptoms once they had developed and to determine how long you could wait to start treatment and still see improvement, explains study co-author Carla Espinos Estevez, PhD. According to her and her colleagues, the results may contribute to the development of future therapies used in clinics. These results indicate that strategies specifically targeting the circulatory system could bring significant benefits to patients. Improving the quality of life and increasing its length, adds the specialist.